SK Hynix Beetle. Look at that golden beetle. Looks exciting. And check this out. It's printed with soy ink, three year warranty, and it's got paper from responsible sources. But not only that, this SSD is meant to be super fast. So I've got right here, boom, got the sand disk. I've got a crucial and I've also got a boom. This is an actually an NVMe SSD inside here. It's a fire CUDA. We're going to be comparing the performance of this golden beetle against all of these bad boys. So inside is some beautiful, beautiful packaging. It opens up like a book and then dun, dun, dun. Oh, this is this is awesome. This is cool. Look at this tiny little golden. It's a very, a very fashionable design and it's so small. I thought it was pretty big, but comparing to other devices, it's even smaller than my sand disc. It's uh, thicker slightly, but it's very, very small. Very, very handheld pocket. Beautiful golden design. Looks like my chandelier. All right, that's my chandelier. And this is my beetle. Look at that. You got not just one, but two connectors. Look at the thickness of that cable and look at the thickness. So this one probably has extra. Hello, trying to do a video here. All right, look at the thickness. It's gonna be nice and shielded and strong and lots of speed is coming out of this guy. So we got right here, this is one of the most beautiful SSDs I've seen, the Beetle Gold Beauty wins that award, but we wanna see how it performs. And we got two tests coming up. One got one pure speed performance and second is endurance. And we're going up against competition over here. We've got, this is a, an older SSD, the Sandisk Extreme. I think it's now obsolete and they got a version two. So this one is officially the slowest. And then this is the X8. This one is an expensive high quality SSD. And surprisingly, in the performance test, this one, just the raw speed, it was slightly slower than the Beetle. The Beetle is actually a really budget-friendly SSD, 512. So that one was actually fast. The fastest one, of course, was this custom solution. Now, this is very expensive. It's got a two terabyte NVMe SSD, and it's got an enclosure, and it's just raw speed. This enclosure is 10 gigabits a second. You can get faster enclosures, so if you get that, it'll be really expensive, but it will be really, really fast. So first up, the Beetle, you see right there, 850 megabytes a second writing and over 820 megabytes a second reading. Next up is the Sandix Extreme, and you got around 460 and four, 520 megabytes. Then we go up to the X8. That one is actually slightly slower than the Beetle, 830. And finally, it's the custom solution. We're hitting 886, that's the fastest. But remember, it's only faster by, what is it, 20, 30 megabytes? However, we're now gonna switch it up into endurance. And for endurance, we ran a test. Over 120 gigabytes of data transferred onto all of these drives. We wanted to see if the data rates held up the transfer speeds. So first up, we have the Beetle. We're transferring, look at the hair. 1 to 1.65 gigabytes. It's going to take about two minutes. And you want to be looking at that desktop services process. We can see the megabytes a second, the reading and the writing. It is over 700 megabytes a second and one minute left to go. Still consistently over 700, average around 750. And we are going to be almost there and we're going to consistently still over 700 megabytes. So it seems to be solid for that transfer. And we hit two minutes and 35. But let's see how it compares with all of the data being transferred to all of the drives. Now I did do these tests individually and I'm just aggregating them together on the screen. But you can see that the process desktop services and all of them, they seem to be for all of the drives consistently hitting them well. The only drive that was going a bit too slow was the extreme. That one was averaging to tell me it's gonna take about five minutes rather than two minutes like the other two guys. And we're in the final hurdle, the last couple of seconds here. And we can see they're all pretty much neck and neck. Firecuda just won it by a few seconds. And pretty much these three, it was, not these three, these three, it was pretty much neck and neck. Like there's only a few seconds in between all of them. This guy, I didn't even complete the test because he was half the speed and it was very, very slow. So considering the price, it is a really good value deal. 
very, very good in performance. One thing I do recommend, however, is instead of getting a five, 12 gigabyte version, just go for the one terabyte because you get more bang for the buck. You get way more better gigabytes per dollar spent. So that's why I recommend there. But anyway, let me know what SSD portables you guys are using out there in the world. Do you think this is the most beautiful one? This golden, golden, golden chocolate beauty. <laughs> what do you think? Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoy the show. And finally, for added protection, you even get a protective case. Check this out. Boom. So now, if you drop it around the edges, you get a little bit more protection.